This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Okay, so Casanova, I told you about this. I was shocked that he did the, the June Bug Challenge. And his uh, wife recorded it, and she put it on his Instagram. Like, still chasing that clout, even though you facing 10 to 20. Now, I still think he's probably innocent. They're probably trying to loop him into some consp fake conspiracy with him and his friends where he's the rapper his friends are still in that street life and they try they'll connect you if they want to and that's what happened in this situation because casanova has felonies in the past okay turned his life around when he came out became a rapper got signed to rock nation did the impossible but he didn't separate himself which you have to it, it it, it doesn't feel like you're being a genuine person when you do that. But sometimes your friends or the people you know can bring you down. So that's what happened in this situation. And you got to be careful. So anyways, he, he's facing this. He has an expensive case coming up. And now uh, he, he did this challenge. So he got punished. Uh they, I think he got like, I don't, I don't know what they do to you, but he's in the West Chester, West Chester County Jail. He's not as, uh, I don't think he's in federal. Maybe it's a federal lock. I, I have no clue what which jail he's in. He says he's in the county jail. He's not in federal lockup then, right? So, uh, I guess he was. He got internal department charges after a woman recorded him accepting the viral Tic Tac challenge. Um, this is pretty dumb thing to have on your rap sheet because you can rack up more like these don't go. These aren't positive things to go towards your case. Uh, I wish you would take this more seriously because, you know, he could probably beat this, but he has to like just, you know, get down to business with this. It's probably going to cost him everything he has. This isn't going to be cheap. Um, Pooh shysty. Uh, he reacts to... Um, E Jizzle. Now E Jizzle and Pooh Shiesty just don't get along. Okay, there was a whole diss song put out by E Jizzle called uh, "Back in Blood," um, and you know he even teased him when that song came out. He said like, "Drop that song." What did he say in the beginning of this? Drop that song. You ain't gonna live to see that baby get here, dude. These guys. That, but this is on Instagram. You know, like. You guys are threatening each other on Instagram. Like, that's public. So now, it's rumored that EBG Jizzle was popped, currently paralyzed. Allegedly. that's a, It's alleged. Uh, but, you know, this is, this is, like, it's so funny how, it's not funny at all, but it's, it's, it's weird how, like, okay, you got Yo Gotti. He's signing a bunch of rappers out of Memphis. Then you got like, for some reason, uh, Gucci Man went to Memphis and signed a bunch of rappers out of Memphis, right? Mm -hmm. Then you got Young Dolph. He's from Memphis. You know, it, ma it makes more sense with Young Dolph and Gotti. They're from Memphis, but Gucci went in there. So it's like three street rappers signed another street rappers, and some of them got like problems with it. It's, it's just like it's a mess. I think E.B. Jizzle is on his own. Still, uh, let's see. Popular song to diss song, Pooh Icy and Little Dirk. Okay, so that was, oh, so that was a, a diss song to Little Dirk, too. Well, anyways, Pooh Icy reacted. He said, damn, that P word dissed. Now he can't even walk. Dude, you just, you threatened him before the video dropped. The video dropped. Then you, you, uh, you know, come on, man. Pooh Icy keeps getting himself in trouble. And he's really just. He signed a with Gucci, man. He's getting himself into a lot of trouble. You got trouble in Miami, trouble in Memphis. And you're you're getting interviewed on the Breakfast Club now. It seems like you're starting to take off. And it's like, dude, you're you're, you're hurting yourself right here. Then he said, uh, F walk, I don't even think bro talking. Where he disappeared to. You okay? Check in. Give me some uh laugh emoji signs. And he says, it's crazy, bro. It's like, come on. You gotta you, you stay out of this. You know, you, you you're letting people drag you back <laughs> twenty steps when you took ten steps forward. You know, um, then we got okay, Daniel A and 
the baby. We already knew they were going to break up at one point. They broke up. All right. So Phil was like, whatever. Little Dirk links up with Kanye. I didn't even know they linked up, but they linked up. Yeah, little Dirk, little Dirk's doing his thing out here. Okay, like he caught, he's he's uh, utilizing his rap connects, and he's getting he he's been in the game for a while at this point. I'd say about ten years. You know, remember he was signed under French Montana for a while. Uh, that didn't work out, and he had to kind of like find his own way after that, and he did, and now he's here. He signs art of the artists. Unfortunately, you know, King Von passed, but he's signed other artists. And, you know, and, you know, I, I know that it was funny to post that thing where he was like shook in the car. Like he's aware of what's going on. Remember, his, his friend passed away in Atlanta just three months ago, right? Three or four months ago. So it's like, you know, King Von. So it's like you're going to be pretty aware of everything that's going on out here, you know, like. I don't care if he's with a little baby or whatever. You know, it's just like you got to be aware, especially when you're in public. He was in the middle of Buckhead when they took that the video of him. I mean, he's right out there. Everyone, Everyone's around that area. I used to live around that area uh, a couple of years ago. I lived there for like five years, right across the street from Icebox. So I lived there for like five years, and it's, it's, it's happening around there. Okay, there's clubs, everything going on over there. Um... So, it's definitely a place where you want to be woke. <laughs> you want to you want to have your you want to know your surroundings because you know everyone's there shopping at Lennox and everything. So it's like, you know, it's the, that's the spot. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. And who you got in the Super Bowl? I I, I think Brady might take it, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. You know, uh, we'll have to see what happens. All right.